He's a lustful, weak individual. <laughs> He's looking <laughs> around. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Tony. Let me tell you something. Let me just let's let's play games. Forget this Tony, academic Tony. with this guy. Tony. Let's just be honest. Tony. Come here, let me slap you. <laughs> Come here, let me slap you. Yeah, come to London and let me slap your face. Come here, let me slap you. Imagine, um, imagine this is face. Imagine, what would you do? Imagine this is face. This is a message saying, this app has been such a game changer to me. I've never been so consistent with my Quran reading before I knew about Quranly. And you can get Quranly absolutely free, no credit cards, for seven day free trial. What are you waiting for? Download it now, brothers and sisters, and build a habit with the Quranly app right now. You can find the link for iOS and Android in the link description below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. I think after a long time, me and you are doing a video together. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been ages. When was the last time we've done a video together? It's such know. a long time. It's true. Yeah, yeah anyways, well, it's funny. <laughs> so, guys, we've got this video. I can't, you know, people send me these videos. I find it very interesting. Yeah? They send me this guy. He looks like Tony Montana. Yeah. He's, he's... <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hands, look, even well, it looks like a Smurf, man. I thought you were talking about <laughs> <laughs> one of the Smurfs. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, let's get straight into it. So, in this video, this guy's a Christian, and he's saying some um, some things about the Prophet peace be upon him. Yeah, just again, an uneducated. Name, what's his name? I have no idea, oh, okay. bro. He's, I don't know what his name is, but let's just watch it. Yeah. So basically, let's see his points. Let's take it, dissect it by one by one. So. I said before that in studying the Bible, specifically the actions and the words of Jesus, I have found that Jesus is the only individual historically ever, whether you want to believe he's God or not, that is without flaw. I cannot find one thing wrong with what this person did or said. What about the verse in the New Testament where the Canaanite woman came and he said, I don't give it. For salvation, he said, I don't. To the dog. Yeah, to the dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the dog said, to the, to the... No, forget that. That's, that's, that's light. That's in the New Testament, yeah? By the way, just as a... Sorry, just as a... No, no we don't believe that this Jesus yeah, would yeah, ever, yeah, ever, yeah. ever but, said But by that. the way, when we refer to Jesus of the Bible, yeah, it's yeah. not Isa Let's yeah, just make we, that... We, we believe, we believe yeah. Jesus. Yes. We believe Jesus is a Messiah. He's a prophet. And we yes. can't... You yes. cannot be a Muslim unless you believe yes. in Jesus. Yes, exactly. All so right. let's just make that clear. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's very interesting is that as Christians... I mean, when you say you can't have your cake and eat it, yeah? You believe he's God, yeah? Saying dog, I'm happy with him saying dog to a woman, yeah? In this, in the oh, sense. Are you happy, yeah? Misogynist, it, <laughs> <laughs> You know why? Because if you look in the Old Testament, bro, there's stuff in there where you cannot compare it with the Quran anywhere near, yeah? Bro, it's talking about killing, smashing babies on the rocks, bro. It's talking about killing men, women, children, babies, donkeys, bro. It's, it's crazy. So let's carry on. So the only person I would ever look up to is one that I believe is the greatest, and that is Jesus Christ. Muhammad is full of flaws, so many flaws, all right? And Muhammad says that God spoke to him one day and started revealing all these things to him. It always is the case that the things that he claims God told him are always to his benefit. For example, Muhammad himself declared that Muslim men are allowed to have up to four wives. Yet for him, he says, God said he can have as many as he wants. Okay, let's stop that. Um, can you give me some instances in the Prophet's life that things were legislated that was against him? There's lots of things. For example, yeah. war would probably be the number one thing. Okay. If it wasn't his benefit, then he would he would have excluded himself from war. Yeah, exactly. So and, he would have he would have left everyone to go out and fight on his behalf, yeah. and he would have stayed at home. What happened at the bat uh, battle and of Uhud? Exactly right. He nearly died. They thought he was dead. Actually, yeah, and he was didn't, fighting didn't he break himself. His teeth he did absolutely. The thing is, that he lived. This is this is completely flawed conception because. The Prophet Muhammad lived an impoverished life. Yeah. So much so that, you know, his wives would complain. Mm. The, the living standard. I mean, yeah. he, he, they, were, they were literally drinking water, eating dates. Tying uh, rocks to his stomach. Yeah, uh, this, he, in fact, one time, one a beautiful hadith, you know, he, he was laying on the, on the floor and there was like a straw bed that he was laying on. Mm. Umar al-Khattab came in, one of the companions, and yeah. he saw him like that. And he, he was complaining that, you know, there's the emperors and these kinds of uh, other leaders in the world mm. would have this lavish treatment, whereas look at how he's living. Yeah. This shows the ignorance of this uh, this man. Yeah. And what he was talking about polygamy, in terms of the Prophet ﷺ having nine wives, yeah, it's not like you can have as many as you want. In fact, the cap yeah. was put in Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter yeah. 33. Yeah. So what? I mean, what does this prove? It, sh it shows that mm. the Prophet Muhammad 
okay, was put in more difficulty. Mm. They, or these women were all uh, either widows, mm. women that had been in war, yeah. women that were in uh, different political yeah. tribes, yeah. and that the Prophet wanted to unify. Yeah. And so there was a maslaha, we would call a, yeah, there was many, an, there an many interest reasons. for the people. But it's difficult having two, three, four wives. Yeah. Imagine having nine. No, if, even if he wanted it, like the Quraysh offered him to stop preaching his message of monotheism, exactly. that they will give women. If he was a person of opportunity, That's a really opportunity good point. he could have said, you know what, I want women. Yeah. Thank you. My message was just, I made it up anyways. He said, if you give the moon on my left or the sun on my right, I will not stop my message. So if he wanted status, money and wealth, they offered all of that. He rejected them all. Good point. Secondly, for example, in Surah uh, Abasa, mm. um, where um, he frowned to the, uh, to the blind man. So that was against himself because it, what, is he rebuking himself? Oh, uh, Prophet, why did, you, why did you why did you frown at the blind man? So there's even uh, Bro, yeah. there's Quranic verses where it's directly against him. For example, when he was asked to marry his um, adopted son's uh, wife, he didn't want to because it was looked down upon. Well, that was well the most Allah point. clarified that it wasn't his adopted son. He clarified that this yes. is. That was the first clarification. Yeah, but adopted means it's not your no, it is adopted son. But there is no there is no it was um, made haram. Yeah, uh, yes. uh, so adoption was exactly. Not a thing. It's not biological. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah course, it's not course. biological, and yeah, yeah. he did. And why did he do that? This guy touches up on that, by the way. He did that to um, uh, stop that custom. Is this someone who I'm going to worship, who I'm going to call a great leader, a great prophet? No, you, we we're not asking you to worship uh, yeah, Muhammad. Yeah. Like you worship you Jesus. Worship. Yeah, see, see, you've got it all wrong. You've got the basics <laughs> wrong. Exactly. Well, the basics for us is that we worship Allah, the the one God, the yes. worthy of worship. That all the prophets came. To tell the people to worship yeah. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, all of those prophets. Yeah. You know what's really interesting? Yeah. Yeah? If you look at psychology, yeah? imagine I'm a thief. Mm. I'm known to steal people's stuff. Mm. Would I ever come to you and say, bro, I've got this um, Rolex watch. Can you look after it? Would I ever do that? Mm -mm. You know why? Because mm. I'm a thief. I think everyone's is a thief. You're projecting. That's the key here. Yeah. Because maybe he's a womanizer, he thinks everyone's like him. I'm being mm. honest. That's why he thinks the prophet, oh, why would he want nine? Because mm. the only reason you would want nine women I don't think is, he's for, a, is, uh, is for sexual reasons, maybe. maybe that's uh, Tony Montana look that he's going for. <laughs> Muhammad also was a warmonger, all right? And he said there was nothing wrong with taking the spoils of war, including the property, uh, the treasures, and the wives. He said that it was okay for his army, because they were away from their wives, to have sex with the wives of those that they conquered. It's not true that you can have sex with anyone's wives. The Quran is very clear about not being able to have sex with anyone's wives. When there was a system in the pre-modern world, which was not Muslim yeah. specific, yeah. which were basically, uh, yeah, which is the prisoners of war, uh, women and uh, children would become yeah. part of the war booty of the winning side. Yeah, That was not Muslim and, and specific. And, and by the way, that's in the Bible, Old Testament, which Jesus, yeah. the God of the Old Testament stipulated. Yeah, because if you believe that Jesus yeah. is... Uh, inseparable from the <coughs> Trinity, then he's the one commanding to all the things that you exactly. mentioned. Exactly. No, he said it. Like for example, the Battle of Khandaq when the treachery happened by uh, Ben Qurayza. Mm, yeah, mm. it's uh, people uh, Christians criticize this. If you look into the Old Testament, well, there's clear cut verse that says when you go to a town mm. and they fight you mm. and you fight them and you kill them, uh, men yeah. take the women and children yeah, the as book captives. Of Deuteronomy. Yeah, yeah, the Book of yeah. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Learn about your Bible, please, Tony. He did not allow for anyone to speak against him. Anyone who did speak against him, he would have killed. Hold on a second, Luke chapter 19, verse 27. Yes, it's a parable, but why did Jesus give this parable? Why this parable? Those of my enemies that do not allow me to reign against them, bring them here and slay them. Now, Christians come and say, it's a parable for the end of times. No problem, that's fine. So in the end of times, he will come and those who did not uh, follow his way, bring them here and slay them. Now, he might do that by throwing them in the fire, whatever. The point is this. Anybody that's against them will kill them. Now, you tell me where the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, oh, anyone that doesn't listen to me, um, I'll kill or execute them. He didn't say that. There you go. Educate yourself, please, Tony. Does that sound like somebody I should worship? But once again, this shows yeah. you once he's an idiot, this guy. This guy's an idiot, man, because the Quran is very clear. <laughs> say, I am just a man like you. Yeah. That revelation is sent upon me. That's not what the Quranic <clears throat> message is. Yeah, and just to make a disclaimer, <clears throat> we have a bit of an attitude with him and we're joking and, and I'm doing it on purpose. You know why? Because if you're a genuine person, you could have come and done a video. You know what, guys, I have questions that I want to know. Because there's a lot of people out there who are non-Muslim. They're like, you know what, I've heard about this. I would like to know. You're not coming with the attitude, but you're, you're, you're sitting there like a, you know, like a, like a mug. Yeah? Like a and, don. You're, yeah, like yeah, yeah. A don. Like, like, like you're don. I, I believe you're an insecure person that's trying to make a YouTube platform and maybe to get woman. I, I, I believe you have the attitude. Why do you have to show your shirt? Are How you do you know it's a woman? Right? <clears throat> maybe it's for men, bro. You don't know if it's homosexual. Okay, or not. yeah, maybe. One of the worst things in my opinion, is that Muhammad had multiple wives, which I'm fine with. You want to have multiple wives? Fine. 
But now ah, you're fine with it. Now you're fine. <laughs> now you're fine. You're not in the tree. You're teasing me. Now you're fine with it. Now you're fine with it. I knew it. I knew it. You see, Islam is 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 for you. Instead of, <laughs> instead of having instead of having side chicks, mistresses, and girlfriends that you treat and you you abuse, maybe a boyfriend. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're not allowed to have four boyfriends. Yeah. So the thing is, yeah, you have a woman, you honor her, you announce the marriage, you do nikah, you speak to her dad, you give a mahar. Look at this. Look at the privileges Islam gives. Not this fraud dating, the biggest fraud on this uh, planet, dating woman. Uh, uh, I'm re- I was reading a book on beauty. Sick, sorry, there's a woman there who's talking. She goes, "I felt so ugly, and I used to let men sleep with me." Because that's how I felt, yeah? This is the system that you've had for women. But one of which was a child. She was a child. And this is the holy man? Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay, one second, one second. One second. One second. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an academic, Tony. One second. One second. Yeah. One second. So, uh, is it the book of Numbers? Uh, where it says 3118, yeah. 3118, yeah, the book of Numbers. Yeah, this is what you need to educate yourself, right? <laughs> well, like, it's, it's as good as getting your, you're sewing off your leg. The little and girls. Yeah. Take the little ones for yes. yourself. Yeah, little ones, untrained ones, <laughs> college students. They're not even yeah. college students, the little ones actually. Uh, uh, do you know who that is? Yeah. So think of it this way. Jesus now, the one that's inseparable from the Trinity, yeah. is commanding us or yeah. commanding yeah. Uh, Moses yeah. to take the little ones for himself or his army. Right? Why? Why, why were they not killed? So they can be raped. But look at the Jerusalem uh, Talmud. Look how the Jews understood this for thousands of years. Oh. They understood it as you can take them and have sex with them. There's no, there's no, uh, p- uh, there's no idea period that they had. <laughs> There's nothing. You're taking them, you're using them for little for, for yourself. What are so, you going to do with them? So let me get this right. According to his standards, if he's going to reject the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, because of misconceptions, mm. you say, Baba, there's God. Take because, the little ones for No, no, yourself. no. If, if the Prophet cannot be a Prophet because of that, because of your false accusation, by the way, mm. then you can say bye to your God because your God of the Old Testament has done... <laughs> you can say bye-bye to the Bible. You should take the Bible and throw it uh, away. We don't believe she was a child. That's nonsense. Exactly. And we've already spoken about it at length. You can you can write our names on yes. YouTube and Just write, write Aisha. Marriage to Aisha. You yeah, see, yeah. We've, we've dealt with this video many times. I have more honor than Mohammed had. So he keeps well, referring yeah. to himself yeah. in the first uh, person <laughs> as if he's something. Look, you're nothing. Let me tell you something, little little man. You're nothing. You could not present yourself in front of me conversationally or physically. That's that's the truth. Or Ali, or the great Ali Dawa. You could not conver- present yourself. The only time you can present yourself to someone like me or Ali Dawa or the great Z, uh, Zishan <laughs> from Smart to Jannah is, is in, a, in the context of a classroom setting. <laughs> or indeed, if you just came and said, please belt me. You hand over the belt. In fact, let me tell you something, Tony. Let me tell you something. Let me just, let's, let's play a game. Forget this thing, academic with this guy. Let's just be honest. Come here, let me slap you. Come here, let me slap you. Yeah, come to London and let me slap your face. Come here, let me slap you. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Come here, let me slap you. I think that's I that. Been, in fact, I should slap you so hard, and then if you follow in your your God so much, you should give me the other cheek. I but I don't do think I, do I think the slap that I give you the first time, you're not gonna be able to give me the other cheek. <laughs> in fact, if you want to play the whole other cheek game, we should do it right. There's a graveyard. We go to the graveyard. We dig a hole. I slap once, and if you're still alive, I slap again. <laughs> You know, 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 it's a competition. There's a competition where they slap each other. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I should carry on. There's nothing. I don't. Is there anything else we can touch? Let me see. <laughs> my, my facts. This is the truth. <laughs> 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 He's a lustful, weak individual. He's talking about himself. 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 I think this guy's finished, bro. Well, let's finish. Come here, let me slap you, Tony. Well, let's just finish it with one. Say your face. Come here, but let me slap you in your face. <laughs> Up your face in front of your. Imagine, mom. imagine this is face. Imagine this, what would you do? Imagine this is face. He'll die. Well, I think after his heart will stop. Talk, 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 talk. Okay, calm down, calm down. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Calm down, calm down. Take the belt, <laughs> brothers and sisters. Till next time. Uh, send me more of these. <laughs> <laughs> Send me more of these videos because these guys are absolute clouds, yeah? Till next time, wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.